Pisces, happy March. I hope you're doing well. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, I have no idea what we're doing here. I think that someone may present something to you. on either a business front or a personal front, I'm going to say choose wisely here. Because while I was throwing these cards, I kept hearing I don't know if it's in I just, I think someone knows exactly what they're doing to you and how to uh, mentally manip manipulate you. Example is, and it's funny because I, I, I think this is something someone wants to do with you. And they know just how to get you on board. But I, I really feel here that there might not be enough forethought here. And this may cost you dearly. Um, if it's in the business arena and you're going into business with someone, someone wants to do something with you that requires... Uh, I think it's going to be tempting, and I think it's going to be something that, with the death card and the tower card in here, and the nine of coins, and the nine of swords. And the Ace of Coins. It's. I think it's the. I think it's the. I think someone may present you with a tempting offer. Okay. And I think that you need to really, really do your homework here. And make sure that it's something. That's been thought through. Because whoever this other person is. We're coming into some really crazy energy in March. If you think it's been crazy, just hang on because it's it's just been, it's going to get more bizarre. And given that you are a water sign, you're going to feel it a lot worse to the point where things really, you won't be able to decipher, you know, between something that is too good to be true or I just think, too, that these, that these people or whoever this is that's in this equation with you, it may be either, you know, someone that wants to really do something with you and, and it, you know, just please think it out, think it through, make sure you can get a plan on paper, see where it's grounded, see where it's going to go, see how things will play out. Don't, this is not the time to, to jump on something without really, really making sure there's a, a solid plan in place, okay, because I think you really may, um, and there may no, may not be ill intent here, it may just be someone that really just doesn't have enough wherewithal to realize that this, you know, equation is missing a key component in here, and you're going to be trapped into this, and it, it's going to cost you dearly. The Ace of Coins here is 
the start of something, right? But you've got to really tend to it, okay? It can be, you've got the nine and the ace, so it's like you're winding down something and you're about to start something else. Really think it through, okay? It's got the potential to really go somewhere, but it's, you've got to be able to anchor it. You've got a lot of coins in here, okay? So I'm going to say this, though. Just really watch your money this month. Um, you know, the Nine of Swords, which is the energy coming in here, is... It's the realization, okay, um, like I've done this before, this might not work out so well, let me get a better business plan or a better plan in order, let me plan it out. Um, your blind spot is the six of coins. Your blessing spot is the Eight of Coins, and your outbound card is the Four of Cups. I'm going to say here, the, the, I, I think that it's, it's a card of, of uh, I, I, the, the Four of Coins. It's just, it's, it's, it's so Pisces. You, it, I, I'm, I'm an Aries Pisces, so I, I get where this is going, and I know how I can get when something gets me all riled up, right? Like a, a trip somewhere or uh, a, a business plan or something like that. I, I now learn, and this card makes me laugh because it's a card of uh, the Four of Cups. It's a card of really now taking a step back before you do things that really have real bad ramifications, right, that can really cost you in many, many regards, okay? And, and I think that, you know, when you, you – some people in this world can really sell ice to Eskimos. Really make sure that whoever this is has a plan. And if you decide to get involved in this, make sure there's a plan. And it's, it's a plan that's not, you know, a la-la land plan that, that can actually work because this month, like I say, we're coming into stuff and it's going to be a little bit harder for the water signs to discern, you know, flight from fancy. Just, just really make sure that whatever you've got has a solid business plan in place, okay? This many coins, too, means that the good thing is that this will be long and drawn out. It won't be something that happens like that. So, it may be a good business plan, but I'm just going to say now is a time where you really want to make sure that it can be anchored. Otherwise, you want to pass on it and address it when there is a, something solid to look at here. Um, the tower card is coming up for you, okay? That's the, you know, all the masks come off with that card. And you've got the death card, too, which is the transformation card. So, you know, it sits right, it sits very close to the ace of coins here. So I'm going to say whatever this is, I think it's going to entail some of your resources. It may require you to move. It may require a bunch of dishevelment in your day-to-day -day life. Make sure that you're not chasing your tail. Make sure that if it is something that you need to move somewhere else or that you're, you know, going to leave one position to take on something else, make sure that it's tangible. I can't stress that enough because I don't know if this is intentional. It's going to be different for all of you, but in one of your equations here, someone knows the right buttons to push with you. And I think that mental manipulation is the worst kind because that's right where you know how to get someone, and that's what this is about, okay? So, show me the plan, show me the plan, show me the plan. I just feel the need to keep reiterating this, okay? Um, I think you're uh, a very caring, kind consider it, but you go the distance, right? Remember, 
Pisces have they have a they want to do do do, but they don't have proper boundaries in place. We go over the threshold and then we're like, uh, now what? Right? We, we've kind of screwed ourselves again. That's what made me laugh about the four of coins. It's a card of been here, done that, gonna get a better plan this time, right? So I'm just gonna say that if 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 something sounds tempting, if someone approaches you with something tempting on the business front or on the personal front, okay, really make sure. Maybe not act on it this month. Get all your ducks in a row. See how it looks in April. I really am going to have to encourage you to not really act on anything right now. Unless there's a solid, solid plan where you know this is like 99.9% .9 foolproof. Pass on it right now. Okay? Give me one moment here, please. If you're overindulging in something, pull back. If someone is poking you with the stick to do something, really think about it. I just feel that there is something brewing here that could cost you dearly. That's not in the cards. I just keep hearing this could cost you dearly. And I keep hearing too the mental manipulation, that's the worst kind. Whoever, I think this is a person, I would like to think that they don't have ill intent here, but I think they know how to play you, um, like what to, what to get you moving with. There are no people in here. So these are your messages, okay? With the Tower card, too, the good thing is that the things that are uh, egotistical, false, are going to fall away. And the good news is that that's coming up to you. I just don't like how close it's sitting to that Ace of Coin because that's you've got a lot of coins in here, which means that you did not get to where you are financially by squandering money and making horrible business choices. You didn't. You were very frugal. You knew exactly what you were doing. You had a plan. And now you, you, you are here. You're, you've got a lot at the end of, end of the spectrum here. You don't want to have to start from scratch by doing something foolish, okay? Or something where you're, you're don't jump. Don't go into anything blindly. Know what you're doing. Don't listen to someone if they're trying to say, show me the papers. Show me the papers. Let me see the documents. You, you need to, to see something. I feel the need to really now push this at you because I really think that this is a person who may not have ill intent, but they're not. It's not going to. Mm, this is going to cost you. I think it's someone who. Don't miss the details. Pay attention. Do yourself a favor, okay? Whatever this is, let it ride until April. I, I just have a, a sickening feeling about this. I now picture a dark-haired person. It's a male, a, a, a man. Pisces, please <laughs> call a timeout just until uh, April. 
physically look at documents, physically look at things. You need to see paperwork. You need to see a plan in paper, not a, 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 a daydream, not a not someone blowing smoke up your ass. You want to, it's all nice and fuzzy, yeah, but mm, get something in writing. Get a business plan here because this, this could cost you dearly, okay? I'm not going to harp on this. I'm pretty sure that if this presents itself, you're going to remember this conversation. Um, no matter how charming the person is, no matter how attractive the person is, you don't want to be, you know, sleeping under a park bench somewhere because this goes very, very awry here, okay? I said that because I know you'll remember that too. I just have a sickening feeling here. I, I have a sickening feeling that there may be no ill intent. It's just not a thought-out plan. So before you invest everything that you've worked very, very hard for, look at it. You need it in paper. You need to see it in paper, a business plan or, or you know, This goes for other people, too. If someone's telling you they've got adequate amount of funds or something to do this, show me the money. Show me it first, really. Err on the side of caution here. Live and learn. Don't jump right now. Um, I know what this is like. Trust me, I do. That's why I'm really saying to you, uh, don't do it. It could cost you dearly, okay? Remember, the masks are going to come off, so you're going to have a hit here of what's really going on. Go with that. Trust your intuition right now, okay? Not the, the loveliness coming from someone else because they know how to push your buttons. So get ahead of this, okay? Thank you so much. I hope I helped you in some way. Happy March.